kindly give this heading decentralized planning decline of planning commission decentralized planning decline of planning commission emergence of niti ayog and grassroots planning so cc what now were the reasons right proceed reasons for the decline right so first you understand now see so finance commission is i will write the points don't worry finance commission is there under article 280 finance commission is constituted hmm. finance commission correct but let us understand in more simple way right now finance ministry makes the budget right and seeks proposals of expenditure from various ministries various ministries they do their or implement policies in various sectors right that means what various ministries are doing their normal functions right which they have to do to promote or grow a particular sector it can be rural development it can be infrastructure that means what they are usually performing their policy role right they are implementing policies seeking money for that that means most of the programs of the government schemes will be run through what the ministries there is no need for anything else ministries are implementing all these schemes and programs so whatever government has to do will be done through the ministries right and work can be allocated to other organizations also but mainly it will be done by the ministries for that finance ministry is giving money fine ye simple mechanism clear hai now finance commission kya karega see so finance ministry is part of the executive it is part of the government it is a ministry right but finance commission is not directly part of the executive right even though it is part of the executive but it is not directly part of the ministry okay it is not directly part of the government fine so it is indirectly related to the government only so what is the role of finance commission now now finance commission role comes where where the union government and the state government relationship is evaluated when union government is performing tasks right it is spending money that money is coming from consolidated fund of india right it's like the savings account of the government from there the money is coming they are spending money all the revenue is going into that राइट right? ये एक सिंपल प्रोसेस है पैसा सेविंग्स अकाउंट में आया वहां से खर्च किया राइट देर इज अ कंट्रोलर और टेक्निकली देर इज एन अकाउंटेबिलिटी सिस्टम फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री विच विल मॉनिटर ऑल दिस सिंपल है तो फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर क्या है या फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री क्या है द बिगेस्ट अकाउंटेंट राइट नाउ दिस इज अ सिंपल प्रोसेस नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट नाउ वेन वी सी दैट यूनियन गवर्नमेंट एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट बोथ परफॉर्म दीज फंक्शन development functions all the functions so state government also has to perform all these functions in its region in its territory from where the state government will get money now same way they also have a savings account right or current account you can say they have an account which is known as consolidated fund of the state in that account again all the revenue which is coming from the state activities goes into that account so they also make their budget they spend their money now when the constitution makers obviously created this constitution right or they thought of this system where there will be a union government and state government right they realized that state governments 
do not have enough resources. State governments are not as capable probably as the union government will be. Why was that? Why was that? If you see distribution of taxes, you see the three lists or two lists, union list and state list, there are more number of taxes in the state list. But those number of taxes do not have enough revenue or they cannot create that much of revenue as the union government because union government's territorial extent is much bigger. Right? Kind of taxes also that comes under union government has a bigger scope of creating revenue. So it was realized that ultimately the nation has to develop throughout through the states. All the states will develop, the union will develop. So that was the idea that union government and state government do not have any conflict as far as development is concerned. Because ultimately it will be development of overall nation. So if you see article 267, right, 335, 334, jahan pe 5th schedule, 6th schedule, aise sare, you know, provisions have. There you will find that it has been already decided that the responsibility of overall development of the country is with the union government. Right? And responsibility for socio-economic development because it is in the concurrent list is with the both center and states. So development and planning you can say becomes a common responsibility of both union and state government. Because of that now it was realized that center needs to because it will earn money probably it will have more score, scope of earning money or more sources of earning money. So center should distribute a part of its money right or revenue to the states. But this cannot be done by the center on its own. Because tomorrow if they don't agree to this logic, then what will happen? So there is need for an independent organization that is known as Finance Commission. So Finance Commission under Article 280 was created or it was asked that it will be created. Every five years it will be constituted, right? Initially two years ke baad constitute ho gaya tha. fine. So every five years it will be constituted obviously by the union government itself. But because it is a body which is uh, having protection under the constitution, the union government cannot manipulate this office. Right? It can appoint, but it cannot manipulate it. So you have under Article 280 a Finance Commission. Now what Finance Commission role is? Okay. In contrast to the Finance Ministry's role, Finance Ministry's role is to provide budgetary support or revenue or monitor make the government accountable for the money it is spending, union government. Whereas finance commission's role is to make the union government accountable for distributing a part of its revenue to the state government. Right? Again, it is not a very simple process. Because will all the revenue collected by the union government will be distributed to the states? Right? Or only a part of the revenue will be distributed to the states? All types of taxes and their revenue will be distributed between the states, right? Or how it will be distributed between union and states and how it will be distributed between the states. This is a big question mark, right? So it is a big issue. First, distributing between union and state and then distributing amongst the state. So there were various parameters which were created. Gardgil formula is famous. Gardgil Mukherjee formula, you might have heard of it. But <clears throat> so there were various parameters which were created, right? And this was also an idea supported by NDC that there is a need to divide the states, right? Or categorize the states into backward states and normal states. Or normal states backward states and most backward states which we can call as special states. So it was basically the recommendation of NDC that we should create a special category status for the states which are very backward. So now money should be distributed from the center to the states 
based on the recommendation of finance commission that money comes in various forms or that money can be given in various forms one is known as the loan form that is loan component of the distribution and one is the grant form one is grants in aid form iske bahut sare mechanisms hain so money which is given as loan right will be repaid because it is a loan money which is given as grant will not be repaid money which is given as grant in aid is basically an emergency support that will also not be repaid right but that is flexible because as the emergency arises it can be given so when now finance commission decides basically it has now the power or you can say it has the role function to decide that okay how much money should be given from the center to the states by assessing overall the sustainability of the union government also like 14th and 15th finance commission have been more biased towards the states okay that is a criticism that they are getting more biased towards the state governments without even considering that what is the fiscal status what is the financial status of the union government because union government has to spend lot of money on defense strategic issues law and order right and other other operations internal security operations you can say so they should or their expenditure will increase automatically but even in that context also the finance commissions are recommending that more money should be transferred from the center to the states so that is known as the share right the percentage share of the revenue which is supposed to be shared between the union not all the revenues are to be shared right that is known as the divisible pool so apart from all the tax revenues which union can keep with itself apart from all that okay which it needs to divide between itself and state that is known as divisible pool right and the term is used the net proceeds net means usko ikattha karne mein jo paisa laga whatever money was spent on collecting that tax or that revenue will be minus from it and then the distribution will be done understand that is net proceeds so there will be a part of the revenue of the union government which will be distributed between them so what will be the grounds what principles will be used okay how this revenue or share of revenue should increase or decrease over a period of time right how it will be diverted to different states not just union and state all these principles are defined by the finance commission and these are they are considered to be advisory right but generally the union government never denies these recommendation because then it will go against the spirit of federalism right so finance commission role comes there so basically finance commission role is what to give revenue or to give financial support to the states as given by the constitution or as authorized by the constitution so that states can improve their developmental activity see so you have now three technically organizations one the finance ministry which is directing the ministries right one finance commission which is directing the union government right or union government and state relations now see now what planning commission will do in this regard see so there are three major bodies which emerges right obviously we can use the word ndc also but what they will do now so they are doing their work ho gaya ye bhi development ke liye paisa jayega see majority of the state governments or uh, they have a higher debt they have high uh, revenue deficit right and they have a high fiscal or budgetary deficit okay what does that mean that most of the state governments are unable to sustain their administrative activity right you might have seen delhi government or non payment of salaries to majority of the class 3 and class 4 workers right same is with many state governments who have not been able to implement the seventh pay commission recommendations 
okay after many years they started implementing it right so many state governments are unable to even sustain their administration right it is mainly obviously because their revenues are shrinking over a period of time why because let's say over a period of time means i'm talking about let's say last 30 40 years how it is being done see now when planning comes into picture right now they have to plan or additionally spend their money on plan they were doing their usual activity what they were doing now planning commission decides that no 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 you have not been doing rural development properly till now you have to first create this basic infrastructure then you can go for rural development otherwise your plan will or your program will fail we don't approve that right so what was happening now planning commission was creating additional programs additional focus areas where the money was to be spent but they did not have enough sources for revenue already their sources were limited and even if the sources were there they were not able to create that kind of revenue many reasons for that corruption one of the biggest reasons lack of skilled manpower lack of potential and capability many states had not tapped their natural resources they were not industrialized enough right industrialization hoga to corporate tax aayega right excise tax aayega so bahut sare taxes aayenge so they did not have that kind of resource right but this created an additional burden are you getting so ye additional burden aa gaya now what states will do they will have to comply because planning was now centralized so they will have to comply this was going to approve the plan right so now what they did they started asking the union government right let us say they started asking the union government that okay why don't you give us additional funds apart from what they are giving right apart from what we are earning you should also give us some additional funds if you want us to implement these plans